Oh, thank you, you guys, for being here today. Uh, first of all, my name is Han. You can call me YT, like YouTube, if it's pronounced Har. Um, first of all, thank you so much for your time being here today with us. We are travel lovers, and also I, I doubt that you guys are not, huh? <laughs> so first of all, this is my first event ever in LA since I moved here. Yes, I moved here 2022 without know anyone here in LA, and I was really scared. But COVID, it was hard to make friends, and right now I'm in the position to have more time to really connect with people. And I just actually got back to connecting or networking event maybe like two months ago. And first of all, I born and raised in Vietnam. I lived there 21 years. I moved here solo in the US by myself, without money, without parents, with $700, not even my money. Um, and I've been through a lot, through education. I took the bus for three years. I live in Dallas. Um, I eat $3 a meal and you know, work my way up. And then my first room rents I pay is $300 back then. Yeah, working everywhere to go to school. And right now I live in this apartment. It's a huge changing. It's not because I'm like the materialistic, but it's like almost nine years of me working hard to achieve something in life. Uh, that's the reason I just want to connect with you because I am travel from Vietnam to be here to you know learn about American culture and all that stuff from you guys. So because what I've been through for the last almost nine years in my life, depressions. Um, anxiety, culture shock, so different from uh, you know Vietnamese culture to American culture, even friendship and uh, financial hardship and even like mental issues. You know, I really want to give up and I want to go home long time ago, but I'm still working hard to build a life that I want to share back with Vietnamese younger generations to look at me as the role model. So I still here right now with you guys today and even like in 2024. Um, the reason I started a different company is called True Strife is people strive in life. Doesn't matter how, what you go through in life, you know, you may be dig into the dark hole, but you still stand up and keep going to, you know, risk anything in life, any goals you want to become. Um, with the background that I've been through, my parents, my mom was a housekeeper for the hotel industry and my dad was a bartender. We barely have money, but I wanna make sure that that's gonna change because you know, it wasn't my choice, but being whatever for me in the future is my choice, who I wanna be. Um, for that, I really want to connect with people who love travel and also would love to do something to give back to community, um, you know, help Vietnamese generations in Vietnam or even when they come here, so connect with you guys through travel or bring people come here in the US, go back to Vietnam to do charity is a part of my missions and my company has started in 2022. We've been building process, but right now I'm trying to expand and then connecting with more people to um, raise fund scholarship and also give them, you know, uh, guidance what to do in the future. So my plan is bring whoever loves travel to Vietnam, go back there. Whoever been to Vietnam before? Few people. So you guys never been. Are, who planning to go in the future? I want to go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So because I born and raised, so I have a thick history, you know, to show you guys where to go, what to do, and customize something like unique experience. Um, and when you travel, if you spend money and nothing, it's just like, okay, you know, but I want to build something meaningful by bringing you guys back there, travel, experience the culture, also, you know, help the kids there to get job. You know, if I have some, you know, guide tours, you guys create job for them by they take you go to scooters, do something for fun. Um, that's helped them a lot to go to school. So we can talk more about that, but today is me connecting with you guys so you guys learn more about each other. If you move to LA and never have friends, this is maybe a group of people for you to travel with purpose and also, um, you know, learn more how to become a travel influencer. I'm working on that right now to get the hotel brand pay for me one post, $5,000 up or travel for free. That's my intention because if they pay me, I can use that money to, you know, do something better for my community. And Ooh. I would like to share that, uh, you know, opportunity or even like show you guys how to do it. Um, but yeah, so, 
Yes. Uh, but yeah, like like I said, whoever invited you, they think about you, and I would like you to you know thank them for showing you or sharing with you about this event here today. And this event is about like connecting through travel, right? And then you enjoy the good food. Shout out for Karina right there to make this happen for us. And two son of her, that's her two son. Yeah, helping off, like setting up this one. I know. And we also want to make sure that you guys are having a good time. So we have a photo booth outside for you to take photo of the beautiful view of Hollywood side. At the end, we're gonna have raffle. So if you guys intend to join the raffle, um, we try to uh, make sure that filled out, filled out that raffle tickets right there, and we request you to fifteen dollars so we can support whoever make this event happen, and also you know use that to make a next event in the future again for like this opportunity. And that's it. So thank you so much for being here today. And yeah, so. Whoever interests in the events uh, first want to become a travel influ influencer or learn more about how to save on your travel, you can join us at the breakout sections. And also, if you want to learn more about the Vietnam trip in maybe after summer, feel free to uh, you know hang out with there and uh, we can talk more in person. Awesome. awesome! Enjoy the event, guys. <laughs> bunch of people here and I would like to like ask you guys personally where did you find the event from so I found the event on event well actually I didn't find the event on Eventbrite I actually found it through my friend she sent me the link from Eventbrite and she was just like hey this looks kind of cool like they're gonna be networking you love to travel I love to travel like let's see what this is about so I came in here blind I didn't know what it was really about literally I didn't know what it was about <laughs> But when I came here, like every, the process was really easy. Like even getting in, the parking, coming up, everyone was very welcoming, very kind, even nice little selection of food. And I'm just like, you know, moving, not moving forward, but throughout the day, just seeing like all the little breakout rooms and taking what I can from this event, yeah. Got it. Who's actually that friend that invited you? My friend's name is Rita. She just walked away to get a mimosa. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> got it, got it. She just walked away to get a mimosa and so the reason why she invited me is because like this year was supposed to be my year of travel because last year I went nowhere, like yes. nowhere at all. So this year I was really, you know, especially now that my finances are better, you got to take advantage of the blessings that God gives you and just explore the world because the United States isn't the only <laughs> country yes. in the world and this isn't the only way to live. And I know future on, um, like later on in life, I don't plan on staying in the U.S. Like I plan on living abroad. So every country I go to, I pick culture from it. I'm not the type of person that just goes there and just like, I'm just gonna stay in the resort and just stay there and not learn anything. Yeah. But no, I actually go out, I explore the culture, I try to learn the language as much as possible, so yeah. So which country is your favorite so far? My favorite so far is probably the one that I haven't been to yet. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's fine. But um, I think my favorite so far has been Panama. Um, so far. I just came from Brazil. It was kind of like a vacation kind of work. Um, it was a medical mission trip and that was amazing. So much culture, so much just kind people. I spoke nothing of Portuguese. Like all I know how to say is hola, bon dia, obrigado. But that's literally nothing. That's like hello, good morning, thank you. So um, yeah, I think I still have, I'm very early on in my traveling in terms of a board abroad like I have some passports to stamp got it <laughs> and I'm glad that you're gonna learn something travel hacks and tips before mm -hmm. you leave so make sure to stay it until the end of course I will I will so I would like to know how did you know about this event and what should catch your attention to be here today so I found that on meetup on that app and I saw that you were looking for teaching how to do traveling and get paid for it and I'm like well I've been backpacking across the country for the last year and I've been traveling basically my entire life so I'm like yeah that sounds like it's great for me cool mm -hmm. so that's why you being here to learn more about how to save on your travel yes ma'am mm -hmm. and what do you enjoy the event so far uh, so far I mean the lovely people 
hearing your story, like, oh my God, like everything that you've gone through and how you're able to just share it with everyone like that and take charge of the whole room, that was amazing. So oh, that was one you. of my favorite things to see too. I was shaking. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate for your time to being here. That's the most important thing that we do this event to help you save your travel and also we can use that money to, you know, help somebody else too. Mm -hmm. So I found the event randomly because I'm addicted to watching reels during my free times. And I saw it and then I'm like, hey, and I, I usually don't click on IG ads because I'm just one of those type of person. But I just like, well, okay, I click on it. And I think it's because the algorithm has suited to travels because I recently um, started a side hustle. I started a travel agency on the side just because I just lacked the passion. And I think that the algorithm just kind of like, you know, suggests all of these uh, ads. So I click on it and then I, when I was trying to do it, for some reason it froze and I had to instant message her and say, hey, I tried to RSVP, but now it says no more room, what's going on? But she was so nice enough to get back to me and say, oh, okay, just do, uh, I'll go ahead and open two more spots for you. And that's why I'm here and just want to echo back to what the other gal just said that yes, I went on to this blindly. I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, am I going to get kidnapped? And I put a pin. I'm like, just tell my husband, okay, I'm going to pin where I'm at. I've been definitely here. <laughs> yes. Uh, still, you don't, you never know, my, you know. My rich husband just kidnapped me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, like I, and then what more important to me is that I, uh, I belong to a lot of nonprofits in my, in my community. And when I saw her, um, had a little, um, you know, little, uh, I guess like a little, uh, profile about uh, having like a sort of like a charity trip to Vietnam. That what would resonate to me the most is because to me, I wanted to give back, um, now because I might. I'm in the position that I can give back. And so not only just time or financial, and, and I know that there are lots of people in Vietnam that are in need of help because there are, I've never been to a mission trip, but I have many friends that have gone to mission trips and their highlights of the trip really, really inspire me. And I'm too scared because I have small children. So now that they're a little older, I thought maybe something that I wanted to basically enter that uncharted territory. And so with God's blessing, I'm, I'm hoping that I can actually embark on that sometime in the new future. So I would really love to know about what it is about this charity uh, you know, trip that you're taking. Um, so, so yeah, and then so I'm having a good time. Everyone is, you know, having fun and it's a great time just to meet new people. And thanks to you, you know, I mean, a very powerful, you know, young entrepreneur. And, you know, I know it's very hard to step into the uncharted territory and water, but you did it. So congrats to you and, Thank you know, you. keep staying positive. And life is just a matter of the destiny and the pit stop you take, right? So, um, but yeah, thanks for having me, and, and I really hope that, you know, your success, and uh, I'm sure that it will be so successful because you love what you do, and I think that's the key in life, is that it will, it's not work when you love what you do. Thank yeah. you, I appreciate that, and also I hope that we can learn something from each other from, you know, in the future, and mm -hmm. also help each other out, because we both, yes. like Vietnamese, I guess, and. Mm -hmm. Like, I really admire what you share too, and then, you know, tell your husband you, you're you okay. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> He's already like, uh, I saw your pin, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for, you know, sharing with us about why you being here and what you enjoy the event so far. So, hope you have a good time. Yeah, I'm having a great time. I mean, like, I mean, everyone's is very nice and, you know, great spread of food and very properly put together um, and you know it's, it's very seamless and then it's a great opportunity to really network. I met a new friend, Rita, yeah. my new friend. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So yeah, so I, I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Yes, okay. thanks for having me. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah.